Don't you love when you get a good bait in? Ah! You poor thing. You have no idea. What about the second one? Bum! And it's all over! Be a witness to the only true ascended. Come! My destiny awaits! Does he play- I feel like- You gotta what, let all that through for some reason? I, I think that's so weird. And he's gonna keep her out? What's going on guys? It is time to use that deck that, that definitely gave me the trouble. I don't even remember if I won that, that match. I know I think I did, but this deck was super cool, wasn't it? Like the Brom Zed deck using Spirit Unleashed um, and the Black Flame, right? They put the Tasty Shell Folk, uh, Tasty Shell Folk, Tasty Fae Folk in the deck. And I was like, yo, that's kind of spicy. Uh, just to have a constant heal, but I think that the deck had more things. Like, I think it should have had Death Mark. It, it might have, he might not have drawn it, obviously, but that was cool. I even put the Navori Longtail in there because if you guys don't know, this card uh, splits. When you summon it, it either has the permanent effect to summon a Navori Brigard, or you can have it the permanent effect that gives allies plus one plus one. So putting this also inside of the Black Flame is pretty spicy. It gives your, your team a nice little spicy boost. And uh, same thing with, I saw this, I was like, yeah, wow. I think he had two spirits unleashed at that point, but even one of them just makes this card really, really good, right? Especially if it's even also a hit with the Omen Hawk, even fantastic. Vastalian Disciple is just a good draw card, plus if it gets hit by the Spirits Unleashed, it's really good too. I also put this in because, yes, I could also put this in the Black Flame and because it gives me time and dedication, which gives me plus one, plus one to an ally. I could also forge the Darkened Fan, uh, which is not necessary that I really care about, but obviously it makes all my dragonlings stronger. Another healing effect, so it gives me a, a way to sustain myself. If the I, I feel like that's what's really cool. Also, if I put it on Zed, it just makes it strong. What's also cool is that Zed's clone gets is stronger than him because it comes with a boost. And they first they copy his stats and then it comes with a boost. And then we have Braum. And I've been saying this for a while is that Braum is just a good card because it just has two of the best keywords in the game and if you give him a little bit of attack he just does what he wants and i, I honestly just think that maybe like scout Brom might come back with the royal akathia uh allowing me to i, I think that that might be the next deck and i want to start giving you guys more videos per day because sometimes i take days off as you guys can see and i feel like you guys forget that i exist <laughs> so uh let's go into uh let's go into a game and see if we go into games and see if i can get some uh, recorded footage for you guys for and we're going against Mono Trundle with Piltover. This might be obviously a uh, uh, Times Line deck. One of my other favorite hated cards. Um, we have a decent hand though, especially if he's going to try to stall. And the death mark is just Chef's Kiss. Um, especially if he's trying to stall. Uh, the the Stallion Disciples are really good. Gives me an early card draw. I would love to see if I can get one of my spirits unleashed, which would be fantastic. But this this hand is really good. I almost want to skip a turn. I'm gonna skip this turn. I obviously could play this. I could also play it now, uh, in case I draw spirits on fucking leashed. Yes. I also could do uh, Zed right now to pressure him to throw out a unit. I'm going for it. <laughs> it's just too good. It, it allows me to do too much shenanigans. So that was the right call. Instead of going to that, I wouldn't have been able to do this on this turn. He has this deck this dude those two reasons don't have anything to do with anything and it's about to go down uh so next turn i'll probably just drop one of these bad boys five three lifesteal units not gonna have anything to do with his deck though but and we draw brahm oh now if he does drop something i can drop brahm this is just too good this deck is like yo i just wanted to let you know i'm really good like you know i know i know you might not know how good i am but like i'm really good <laughs> <laughs> so I'm 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 loving it. I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Not even I know what I'm cooking up. Okay, he got the can't block one. That's a uh, a little bit too thick for Rob. I'll, I'll say that. Take heart. That's a little too too thick. Assuming that this deck runs any type of removal, um, I might let the six go through actually. Uh, to be completely honest. It. Then again, if he's gonna use it on that, then he won't have anything for Zed when he comes out. You are safe with it's a it's a regular Braum. I haven't done anything to him. He doesn't have his champion spell on him or anything like that. 
So I'll just present the six damage. If he has a spell, he has a spell. I, I, I dreamed of a mystic shot, so that's perfectly fine. I still get the guy who's a 4-4, four, four, which was, that's what was happening. He kept making 4-4s. Four, he had a bunch of cool plays with like the ice shards, which was cool, but I think that, I, as you can see, I, I didn't put ice shard in my deck at all. I think it's kind of silly. All right, um. Do not fear the shrouded path. But like I said, he has that mystic shot all the time. But yes, guess what? You can't mystic shot me. You're gonna need that get excited, baby. You're gonna need that real good stuff. This guy can't block, so he's gonna take a world of hurt if he just lets me attack here. That is uh, four, eight, okay. That's beautiful to see. Okay, I th I, for some reason I thought that was plus two. <laughs> Not exactly as, as much as I needed. I push a lot of damage, but I also lose Zed in the process. He just easily blocks this. Because one goes through, that one will have six. How much damage is this? It's exactly lethal, but he's gonna block Zed, right? He's definitely blocking Zed, so there's really no purpose of doing it. But it is funny that it is it is exact lethal. But unfortunately, he I should have theoretically I should have put this on that. If I put it on here, it's a little bit better because then I would have got two attacks. He blocks one. But he does kill that off in the in the process, which is annoying. We draw another spirits unleashed, which is fantastic. He hasn't done any ramping, which I, I'm assuming there must be some ramp in this deck. Okay. I'm sure. Now, not only do I stop the attack from Trundle. Uh, also, next turn, my I could actually utilize this and attack with it now. It really just depends on how wide I want to go with it, to be completely honest. So we are in a supremely good spot. And I have healing. This card doesn't, the fact that he can't block, I, I really don't care. I'll take the six. He's not gonna, what are you gonna lethal me out of nowhere? Giga Mystic Shot, like I don't, <laughs> that's not gonna do anything, my friend. I should not have even blocked with, um, with Braum, to be honest. Because this Mystic Shot still does nothing to big stats. So we have a nice low committal play by playing the Vestayan Disciple first. He doesn't have... Uh, he can't bury an Ice Me or anything like that, so... What could you ever teach me? Homecoming is a fantastic to see because I could actually use it on his Trundle right now if I wanted to. If he has a, uh, a card that somewhat screws me over. Could be running Flash Feet. <laughs> All right, uh, he could be running flash freeze. That's a that's an option for him. But yeah, our shadow's gonna be thick as hell. So he has a lot of damage he can't respond to. If he plays a big card right here, like a leather revna, which would be terrible for him, uh, I could just bounce back like revna or like like I said trundle, and then he'll be in a world of hurt if he's playing too thick of cards. Also, guys, go check out the last video that I dropped. Okay. Aatrox, I think he's going for the. Okay, he's going straight for the freeze. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Oh no! What a scuzz bag. Hello. 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 Do that. I'm gonna summon the other unit. I think theoretically it gives more stats to do it the other way, but. I was hoping he was gonna entomb it. If he entombed it, I actually obviously would have had something there. Watch. Next turn, I think he actually can play the pillar, which is kind of annoying. Oh, you know what? And because of that, maybe I should have just attacked with Zed. Cause this is just, uh, this is a regular Zed. And then I would have been able to kill him off by just attacking and then uh, the, the this thing would have popped out and I would have been able to trade it, but we still push decent damage here. Do not oppose me. Heal ourselves up pretty significantly. He does get to drop the trundle and stuff like that, but we have a lot of healing. Like, so I'm not really, I don't think he can one shot me in any stretch of the imagination. So I'm not really concerned about that. 
Another the sign decide we damn they're multiplying there it is gonna pull my Zed in now That would have been good before. All right, we get the fan. Next turn, actually, I can play the fan. So clearing out my board right now will be phenomenal. I actually don't mind that. We could play uh, the the bra, the breach walker, and yeah. Okay, he loses this. I lose a lot actually. I think it's smarter to save the lifesteal unit than to save Zed. Cause Zed I actually can control where he goes. Uh, sorry, Zed I can't, yeah, I can't control where he goes. But I can actually control, like, so if I want to block this, cause this, I, I might just let this damage go through. Especially if he puts it on the left side. Um, actually he can't attack with Trundle at all. Cause I, then I would block it. I would block Trundle right now. So if he just attacks with this, I mean, if he attacks with this, I just threw one, but he could have pulled Zed in and then like just attacked in a weird way. This is, I don't think that's the right order. I think you put, I think you put Trundle first. All right, I mean, I'll, I'll do that all day. Um, <laughs> I would do that all day. I get framed for a second. Um, potentially could drop down a wait. This is the one he knows about. This is the one he doesn't know about. I I'm curious if he'll bury in ice or something like that. Yes. Now that that's five mana. That and, and that's fast speed, which is fantastic too. So the, the, he still has to like skip his turn right now. He's about to get so fucked. <laughs> He's about to get screwed right now. Uh, because this thing is going to be huge. The, the part of the Breach War. And I did that specifically to bait him. And I don't know about you. Don't you love when you get a good bait in? What will you have? Ah! You poor thing. You have no idea. What about the second one? Boom! We get to take this out. Yeah, I'll t I'm definitely gonna kill Trundle. Um, I'll maybe waste the life steal attack, maybe. Club president. So I definitely take this out. Take that out. That's free. I kind of want to get rid of this because it's annoying as shit. I don't have lethal right Into the forest. I can even do this to make him that he, I mean he'll just block with one of these big guys right this just allows me to summon the other guy and yeah I can't force any other trades so this guy just gets to stay unfortunately I mean this thing is still gonna be a problem for weaken his uh, weaken him a lot he blocks that blocks that we still have our seven six Put him on a timer, uh, two turn timer, Let's right? Talk about your turn. Here's turn one, the first turn of it. Trundle's dead. Again, he doesn't have enough damage to, to kill me, and I still have a lifesteal unit that he has to deal with. There goes Death Mark, both of them. Would have been good to have. Oh, wait, maybe I, was I not paying attention to that? Oh, I really wasn't actually. That's actually my fault. Now concurrent timelines, a little bit late to the game, but also I can uh, twin discipline and save this from the it that's theirs. I taste purple. Yay. See what you got going on, sir. I think we got this in the bag. I don't think there's much that he could do outside of like maybe, uh, what is it? So Juani's nature, whatever the hell, like uh, Fury of the North, I think it's called. I don't know how much it's Juani's nature. Uh, he could use that on this. Okay. 
RNG is good to me and everybody when I don't know what you're gonna play and it's gonna help you win the game. All right, so what else are you turning to as well, which is also part of the nightmare, right? Are you all in line for tickets too? Okay, wait, aren't you supposed to keep the, the stat boost? That's kind of counterintuitive. <laughs> I thought they, don't they, do they not keep the stat boost? Nine. So actually, no, now my thing dies, unfortunately. If he attacks with, uh, Takaz. What, what ungodly spell do you get? I swear to God. I swear, you better not have gotten some game-winning five-cost spell. Because it's not locked to your fucking region. Oh my god. Luckily, I can counter that. And then I die to like literally anything because I'll be so weak. Then he could actually pull me in any way or any way that he wants. But losing it for free though is, is too much. Oh my god. Fix this game, man. Like, like... I This is why I say I can't stand Howling Abyss. I can't stand Timelines. I do have a soft spot for portals, but I, it's, you know, I, I, I personally just think that portals aren't that crazy, but I don't do meditation. It, it, it's like, it's okay, but it's just, I, there's certain levels of RNG I can't stand. How about another round? I mean, you obviously pull this, right? I'm going to definitely 120,000% sacrifice this tasty shell, folks, so I can, um, so I can play the thing next turn. I'm about to say, if you attack with that, it just dies. Uh, what? You're strange. What are you? That's just bad. <laughs> Why would you do that? The hell? <laughs> What's going on with that map, my guy? Dude, having these big ass, <laughs> these big ass lifestyle units is insane. Though I'm walking into a buried in ice, right? I, I'm definitely walking into one. I have open attack lethal. Actually, I mean I do, but he also could just freeze this unit. Um, so developing here technically is not the worst thing in the world, and just buried in ice, me bro. It's fine. I accepted my fate as a bad move this is more lethal but there's no way i can pass initiative back to him um okay freezes this okay both of the units that i need okay so we don't we're good from buried and ice we still get this off we get to kill off this which is a pain in my ass we also get to i mean wipe his whole board but i also get to keep no i, I can't really keep it I'll probably keep the looker. Oh my god. Okay, can't play the card, but yo, yeah, make this a nine cost. Just <laughs> it's just make this make this card a nine cost or an eight cost. Just like keep ramping up the cost of this card. I'm just so tired of it. Or are they not coming with buffs? Does that mean that he's you know what? Maybe that's why his hand early was so trash. He actually had these in his hand. That's why they're not buffed. Every other card it seems like he's played. Like as you can see it doesn't save rep. So he actually had like what is it, two or maybe two or three of these in his hand. And now it gets a, uh, and I, I really don't have like a good card. Pack you up. You lose the fight another day. What can I say? Yeah, that has to, I need it because he's not vulnerable. You pack three damage. Yes. I would attack with this, but this is a free trade. He, he obviously would just block with the 5-1, or he could block with this because I'm vulnerable in it. We, and it's crazy. I got card draw in this deck? Like, what? What? Now, if he draws, like, another Revna, like, he's, you know, he's definitely starts to pump his stuff to ungodly amounts. There it is. A little bit too late for the party. 
Now I think I did put one deny in this deck, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Uh play this first. Cause I might draw into it with the Shimon Wind. That's fine. I mean his champions don't matter too much at the moment, but You are safe with Brom. You are safe with Brom. Attack, fucker. Oreo King. Um, again, I don't have Leafy. Drops. I can't skip my turn either. Who's in these tombs? Oh, it's gonna say I don't know which one's which. That's just a tasty shell, folk. I'm playing it safe. This is a long match because this guy just, he doesn't want to give in. I think he obviously has a thing. I mean, Bird and Ice is just a good card, so he doesn't necessarily need the follow-up card. But I could say like nine times out of 10 that I fought against this deck, they always have the follow-up card. So I'm just gonna assume that he has a follow-up card. So uh, yeah. Go for the Entomb here, just a Flash Freeze. So he doesn't have the... Well, if he does have the power, we can't play it. So I do get my cards back, which is fantastic. Goes for the Entomb. Now he can technically kill Brom. I get all the other cards back. What an asshole. Yo, he is surviving, my guy. My man's like, nah. I'm doing this for Jessica. I don't, I don't know. Jessica's is a random name. Hey, if you guys know Jessica, say something in the chat. Or if your name is actually Jessica. Yeah, you're on my mind. Every little thing you do, you're on my mind. There you go. Make copies of this and keep keep pushing. Uh, I'm going to go with the draw here. I have way too much cards in my hand. It's in the Omen Hawk. 18 cards left in our deck. He has 20 cards left in his deck. He's going... For, he, that's it. He's going for the what's him call? He's going for the long game. I'm gonna stall out 18 cards. I mean, Freyard has the capability of doing nonsense. I'm also assuming he might, may or may not have Howling Abyss, but he's looking for it. He's like 20 cards left. I put three of them in my deck. Carry the two. Nah, bro, it's over. <laughs> it's over. Spirits Unleashed. He has it in his deck. I would, I would play that. Wow. The other options were that bad. Uh, why not play Spirits Unleashed? You get better stats. You can contest with my units a little bit better. I don't. I don't see why. I would discard this. What is this doing? And you can't. You can't even use that. Another. Wait. Does he have another one? Oh, he had. Wait. Play both. I mean, wait, what? Oh, no, I would have put it on this just for the time being. Push some damage. Because I don't really have to block much of what you're doing. You, I mean, like, I really don't. Let's take this outside. Oh, no. I mean, it looks like I do, but everything's dead, right? Kill everything. Like, I'm super impressed that this deck survived this long, like. Hey, Zed. Hey, Boom, shakalaka. <laughs> Shimon Win did the absolute work, though. All righty. We got the corrupted Chirima. Um, kind of scary, I'd say. I would definitely like to see... Let's get some Black Flame in here, actually. Hey, there we go. Buried Sun Disc in the place to be. Alright, so we have a slowish start, though.
Boom, do doom, doom, doom. I mean, my friend and I are so collectors. I could have did the same thing, save the two to hope that I get spirits unleashed. But especially if he doesn't play a unit here, and like I said, I could put this in the black flame if I really want to. Suns beneath me and winds behind oh, me. that sucked. Give me silver or give you steel. I don't think he would have traded with either of them, but for some reason I was like, I don't want to trade with this because he might, he might do something stupid to it. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. All right, we take out one of those. Uh, it's looking a little bleak. Looking a little bleak here. Okay, you're a little thick. A broken thing is a waiting thing. And it lets me kind of pump up this darkened fan a little bit, which I kind of want to do. And we'll start getting units. Men die, but Shariba lives forever. Which is kind of what I want. I kind of want uh, units. Kind of, kind of help Don't myself here. Yes, good. He would approve. Those Zeroth gets the level for free off of that. Now, obviously, this would be fantastic if I have Spirits Unleashed, because then these attackers will be coming out with so much gusto. But it's also good to see what happens when you don't get, like, every little combo piece, right? I think the best combo decks are the ones that you get that, that kind of assemble themselves early, right? Um, but sometimes, like, if you don't get them, like, how good is your combo if it's a little bit late? I definitely think the most important thing, obviously, you said we didn't even draw the Black Flame the last match. It's really important to get at least, at least, uh, Spirits Unleashed. Like, you definitely need that. And, like, not, and I also feel bad because I don't have my draw engine here either. Worries fall from us like water. I really should put this in my, uh, Shuruma deck just, just to, like, protect the, uh, Buried Sun Disc, like, at least once. Um... Is he going to attack? He's going to attack with it, probably at least this. He doesn't care about it. You know, just to get the Sand Soldier to expedite his thing, I think. That would be my prediction. I think he just attacks with something. No? I mean, he's going to get it anyway, I, I, I guess. Yes! That is gorgeous to see. Arise. <laughs> Arise! It hurts. Alright, you do that, sir. I, I definitely think that you're the man for that. Going for a big daddy swing here. Oh lord. He pops next turn, right? To the forge. Oh, you're in for it. Hold it steady, boy. Like that. Wait, oh, he didn't get to come to the bench. You disrupt our peace. Because it's immediate, that's why I understand why that happened. All right, push some good damage here. I think Xerath level, no, they both, oh no. So this is getting minus 18 almost immediately. Oh no, all right. I think we lost. I think we lost, very specifically because is there off levels here? The whole world shall tremble before me. Boom. They play any card from Azir. Literally anything. And then he levels. Landmarker unit. He levels. This thing will pop. I mean, unless he triggers this. But this thing will pop by itself. Which is dangerous because... Oh boy. 
That really works with the corrupted thing. I'll, I'll give it that. Um, cause if this thing dies now, I lose the darkened fan, which sucks. I I wouldn't be surprised if he just ends his turn straight out of here. All right, so that takes out my thing. Not enough room for my boy. What could you I'm gonna destroy that. That's actually a blessing what he's doing right now. He doesn't know it, I guess. This gives me my weapon back before Xerath turns into an obliterate monster cakes. Um, and then maybe this, because it's low. This turn seven, though. Yeah, this one's a little thicky. And it's all over. worth it to have them all have it or maybe they'll eventually revert it back kind of like they did the other ones all right so the shitty thing about it is that he has the destroy me thing um well that's a slow spell though I don't do meditation. with two twin disciplines i can protect them so because uh, i'm assuming he's going to do the the, the thing the ch uh Zeraf champion spell i'm assuming Now he strikes the weakest, right? Yeah, that's right. So he'll hit this. Unless he has quicksand in hand, I think he actually loses here. That takes you out. You get your homie. He needs a... Uh... He needs quicksand here, and he has the mana for it, so... High possibility that he does have it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I don't think there's a one mana card that saves you here, buddy. so good to win with elusive Ionia, isn't it? Doesn't it just feel precious? Doesn't it feel precious as air? <laughs> I thought I lost. And all except, I guarantee he has a card in his hand, but he just is like, oh, I'll, I'll survive with one HP, you arrogant asshole. Uh, I mean, he also could not have an answer, but because I want my content to seem like it's better than it is, I'm gonna say he had the answer and he misplayed it. Now he lost because of his misplay. He's standing there in awe. He's like, uh, honey? How could he? There's no way. And before I, I forgot, there's an Emperor's card that's like one mana. I know that there is a Obliterator Follower, but I think it's deeper in the deck. The, remember, if you guys don't know, it has, Emperor's deck has like an order to it. So, my man's like, how? Double Twin Discipline Hand. You hate to see it. Boom, Shakalaka! We won. And I just realized that uh, Lucky Cat had dropped a video. <laughs> Lucky Cat had dropped a video uh, with these two, this, I think the same region combination, right? And now um, Sunny dropped a video. Should I do it? It's like a Turbo Watcher deck. I actually haven't watched either of their videos, but now it makes me, I just saw Sunny drop one four hours ago. Maybe I should I, I should try that. I wanna start trying out decks. I, I, I'm feeling guilty avoiding popular decks, right? I feel like I should just jump on the bandwagon. like. 
added my own, but you know, obviously you should give credit where it's due, but when a deck is popular, I should play it too. I, I feel like I'm a dum dumb for not playing popular decks. Like I never played Sand Soldier, Zulani. Like if you guys want to see me, I might just do it anyway because uh, I don't think we're getting another big patch for a while. So I might just start doing it. Just a heads up to you guys that made it this far. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, watching the videos in their entirety. Um, and yeah, let's get to this one. And uh, I don't know. This one actually, lifesteal might come into effect like greatly, but it, unless I don't get screwed out, one off of homecoming might help us out in some way, shape, or form, especially with a, a Gwine or something like that. Uh, I like this. I don't think I need both tasty shell folks, but that could be a mistake. I definitely think I need spirits unleashed, and it's kind of like what you. It's what how I'm winning, to be completely honest. That card is just too good. It's like sometimes it's like you have to really realize why you're winning. We got Zed on curve. Uh, I'm not going to play anything because with Zed on curve, I have Twin Discipline as a backup. I don't think he has any cards to kill it like that, but... Never play faith. He could be running Disintegrate, right? That is a thing. Plus, he quick attacks. So you do that, Tweety. He's mine. First, you must find me. Hey, this is an equal trade. Equal opportunity damage right now. The problem is that he could vengeance me next turn, right? They'll never know what kills them. They won't. Does he spend his mana to lower his uh no four six mana he can still vengeance me next turn. But I'm humble sent a humble humble I'm humble I'm humble ascending. Yes. Cuz I'm not Ionia, right? Oh my god, his reach is so broken. <laughs> Uh, that does suck though because now he does have a blocker. Or does he? Is it the Quietest me so I can surrender. <laughs> I won't surrender, but I will be very pissed. <laughs> okay. Who are you stunning? Sun Zed. Okay. Come here, you sweetheart. Oh, okay. So it was delayed. So, wait, why? I mean, I guess he thought it was more important to block this. Because he quietuses the Braum, and then I do that. Braum, that, that's a huge sacrifice. Oh, he sacrificed himself for the greater good. Look at that. We got we got our, our deal with it card. I don't mind sacrificing this. Can I? I don't have enough mana to play anything else, though, unfortunately. We go for broke. Um, a little dangerous, but... I'm assuming he plays Katarina here. He can actually play Katarina and just, like, whittle me down slowly uh, with, the, with the knives. They're afraid they should be. Actually, the one damage here doesn't matter. Me not blocking this. Blocking this to prevent one damage. I might as well just block this and let it kill me. We open attack with... Uh... Open attack unless he's going here. To... Okay, that tells me he might have a ping in his hand. We just open attack, though. I could. There's like a slight argument to do this. It would give him uh, give him some stats, but then I have to deal with whatever he puts out, right? Because the odds of me keeping him alive or even leveling him is so low. I'm actually, I think it, I think this is smarter. Hit him out of one ping. He still has five attack. He's a strong guy. I think that that's smarter. I also have homecoming. I, I mean, it would be a big waste to homecoming just him. Um, I think letting him die is a little bit more important. Like, just let him blow as much cards on this as possible. Because, like I said, our deck is more contingent on, like, the Tasty Shell Folk. And hopefully healing, allowing it to heal back. Okay. Interesting playing her. They follow the wrong master. Does he play? I feel like you're going to, what, let all that through for some reason? I, I think that's so weird. 
That seems like a very weird thing. I, I would assume like you must have something else for two mana that you'd rather play. But to play Cat Arena for that. Okay, going straight for the Nexus. And he's gonna keep her out. This might hurt. Embrace the shadow. I'm obviously gonna let the long tail die. I mean, if he plays another card, I'll, I'll uh, Omen Hawk. <laughs> and then I'll let the Omen Hawk die instead. Very strange play. And then we drop out the Tasty Shell Folk uh, next turn. Blood for Noxus. I keep myself out of... Uh, I'm doing this because we might hit something nice. We're not in Decimate range. Uh, the only thing I could think of, I mean, he hasn't dropped any Gwenish card, so he has no Hollowed proc. So I don't necessarily see what he what the what the game plan is. All right, here we go. Very important turn here. How does he manipulate this uh, this hand to his favor? We draw another Spirits Unleashed. Oh, he said, you know what? I got to go. Unless he's like, is that the AFK uh, Ruination? I feel like that's what that is, the AFK ruination thing. Or the AFK force, like, make me attack. And then, like, I make a mistake. I've had that done to me once. And as I said, we take those. 100%. I love that laugh. That one long ass game and a couple two quick ones is all daddy needs to feel good inside. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, that's Brom Zed. I think that this deck is, now, now I wanna see with the, the Turbo Watcher deck that everyone's playing right now. Uh, I wonder if if uh, if it's, can it beat out this one? Uh, which one is gonna come out better? That'd be interesting. I'm just gonna take one of their decks. You guys let me know in the comment section, uh, whose should I take? Should I take Sunny's version? Snooey's version, sorry. Should I take Snooey's version or should I do Lucky Cat's version? You guys tell me in the comment section below if you made it this far. Anywho, I'm out. Peace.